All right, guys, we've got a treat for you today. We've got this 1974 GMC Motorhome. Let's get to it. So back in the early 70s, GMC and GM had the idea that they wanted to get into the motorhome business. This was one of the examples of that idea. 1974 GMC Motorhome. One of the things that made this thing unique, specifically, was it was front-wheel drive. Front wheel drive did a couple of things. One is it allowed you to keep a low center of gravity and an easy step in, which we'll see in a minute, to this motorhome. Not only is it front wheel drive, it keeps all the drivetrain up here and out of the way, but back here keeps it as a flat floor. Again, we'll see that in a minute. And a unique suspension with no axles here in the back. So it's got the tandem rear wheels, uh, but if you look, take a look inside here, it's got this real, um, it's got this airbag, which has been recently rebuilt. And this airbag works on a pivot. So if one wheel goes up, the other one goes down and vice versa. That airbag works as the suspension travel in this motorhome. That's one of the biggest things that makes this unique. And like I said earlier, when we get inside, we'll show you some of the uniqueness in there. Uh, but it had all the creature comforts that you could ever ask for in a motorhome. It had air conditioning, it had a shower, it had a bathroom. Uh, it had lots of sleeping area. Uh, on the outside here, we've also got a generator. As we prop this open, you'll see we've got an Onan generator here. This thing works. It'll start right up, and uh, it's been fully serviced, and everything works. And best of all, it's for sale. So we're going to be talking about some of the features on this exact model uh, that may not cover every model that was ever made, but you're going to have an opportunity to make an offer on this if you want. Let's get a closer look. And one of the neat things about this thing is that it used a lot of existing parts already available from GM. If you'll notice those taillights, yeah, those are out of a Chevy van or GMC van of the day. Nice big back window. It also gives you a trailer hitch, a ladder to get up on the roof to service anything you need up there, including the working air conditioner. And as we come around here, it does have a refrigerator. So this is your access to the outside of the refrigerator for any service work that may need to be done. And as far as we know, it still works. And there's your official badging. And of course we come around to the front and we've got your access to all your serviceable components underneath these two flaps, which we will get into. So you've got access to your house batteries. You've got access to your uh, overflow tanks. Also you've got access to your brake booster and any electrical components that you may need to get into uh, on the front of this rig. And you might be asking yourself, how do they make this thing a front wheel drive in a motorhome? Well, you guys have heard of the old Tornado. Well, and the Cadillac Eldorado had a front wheel drive V8 engine. This is what this has got. We're gonna hop inside and take a look under the doghouse and take a look at this motor, which only has about 5,000 miles since rebuilt. There is that 455, all stuffed in there. Lots of room to be able to work on it. And uh, it does have ceramic coated headers down in there to help keep things cool. Uh, but looks like it's gonna be fairly easy to work on if a fella had to work on it. And when we come over here to the driver's seat, uh, that steering wheel looks awfully familiar. It's basically the same steering wheel that's in um, my own truck, my 77 Chevy C10. Uh, but everything is right here. Uh, pretty basic controls, nothing to worry about. And 72,927,000 miles. And I believe those are your air controls, your air suspension controls, uh, glove box and passenger seat. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, these things have a flat floor and it's a single step up uh, to get into the unit. So there's no climbing stairs, just a single step. And the flat floor is a result of the engine being up front and everything else uh, having no axles and the type of suspension I showed you earlier with the airbags. Now you do have yourself a full kitchen, dual sink, three burner stove with an oven, and then over here is your refrigerator. Up here you've got your dinette which will fold down into a bed and somebody could sleep here on the couch as well. And in here you have your shower slash bathroom. Uh, so the whole thing works out to be your shower. So you've got your spray nozzle there, you've got a sink, you've got your toilet, and everything drains into the floor. And it does have a microwave, which is obviously newer than what the machine is. And you get a whole bank of drawers and doors here for storage. And if you look at the top, it says it's quality built by GMC. Back here, you've got enough sleeping for two people possibly. And again, a little bit more storage up over top. And you've got your vents. And like I said before, a nice big back window. Uh, they do have the privacy curtains that you can pull 
to keep things private. Although this unit is undoubtedly a bit dated, as the owner mentioned, everything works and it's basically a blank canvas for you to put your own spin on it. You can paint, you can reupholster, you can do whatever you want in this thing to make it your own. And just like the outside, it's a blank canvas. You can keep the silver with the blue pinstripe or you can go ahead and create your own masterpiece. Now this RV does run and drive. It drove here from Ontario, Canada to New Brunswick East Coast. That's about a thousand miles and uh, he's been driving it around here a little bit uh, in the good season. It does not run on the winter roads. He parks it for the winter. Now one thing you got to keep in mind is that this is a 1974. Although it is in really really good condition you're going to have to take into account there are some age related things that you're going to want to maybe pay attention to. All the tires are good. They've been recently replaced. They are uh, Firestone Transforce tires, uh, but you've got some weather stripping, uh, which is starting to uh, you know come away here. And all along the windshield seam, you'll see that some of that, that locking bead uh, has come apart and deteriorated a, li a bit. Um, and there's a little bit of fogging on the windshield. On the front bumper here, a little bit of chrome peeling. So guys, if you are interested in this, 1974 GMC motorhome. I am going to leave a link in the description box below where you guys can go check out a lot more pictures and get a price on what this thing is worth. And because it's 1974, it's very easy to get this thing through US Customs. And although it is your responsibility, if you're from the US and you wanna buy this thing and get it across the border, I'll be there to help you as much as I can every step of the way. Well, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you wanna see more classics like this for sale on this channel, Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos just like this one on Old Car Guy. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.